Hi, my name is Ginny Su. I'm a new assistant professor in the Department of Psychology at Arizona State University. Broadly speaking, I study why some people develop alcohol use problems. So I study how genetic and environmental influences contribute to the development of alcohol use disorders and related mental health outcomes. I'm particularly interested in family processes and how um, alcohol and substance use problems can transmit within the family and across generations and how our um, environmental experiences, for example, our family friendships, family relationships, friendships, our experience of stress, for example, our culture, and how all of those environmental factors can um, interact with our genetic predispositions, so how those environmental experiences may either exacerbate or buffer our genetic risk toward developing those uh, alcohol and related problems across time. I am really passionate about increasing uh, representation of minority populations in genetic research. So I study genetic and environmental influences on alcohol use disorder and related outcomes. However, the field of genetics broadly and also specifically for alcohol and substance use research has really primarily focused on population of European ancestry. So um, that definitely have a lot of reasons, you know, but as we are moving toward precision medicine and how to, you know, incorporate genetic biological information and inform um, tailor personalized intervention in medicine, I do believe that it's truly very, very, very important for us to study all of the populations. Um, we cannot simply assume that a one-size-fits-all approach because so many differences across populations, you know, we are there's differences in terms of the prevalence of alcohol and substance use and related consequences as a to treatment, their experiences, um, SES status, um, experience of stress, for example, discrimination, the cultural values, cultural beliefs, processes, family values, all of that can contribute to differences across populations. And genetically, we are different as well, depending on where we come from. If we are not studying other populations, we can be missing a big part of the picture. And if we're not studying them, there's no way that we can understand more clearly um, pathway of risk or resilience related to alcohol use problems for these other populations, and then to inform more culturally tailored personalized interventions.